Hey guys, Helpful Lockpicker here. The video I have for you today is hopefully show you how the basics of lockpicking pin tumbler locks works. I have a clear acrylic lock to help you visualize what's going on. I want to start off by just showing you a few basics of how the lock works. First of all, you can see that there's six driver pins. One, two, three, four, five, and six. They're all under spring pressure. You got a spring pushing them down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And basically what's happening is that these springs will push these driver pins inside this metal plug here. And since the driver pin sits inside, it allows the lock to not open because it physically is obstructing it from turning because there are these driver pins sitting inside. Below them are key pins. They're all cut to different lengths but when the length of the key pin added to the length of the key they all add up to the same length which will line straight up at the top of the plug here at the shear line and that will push these driver pins straight up and it will make the lock able to be opened. Now here's an example of the key to this lock. So you can see that each key pin corresponds to the cut on the key. Now when I insert the key, you can see that the key pins will push up the driver pins up and out of the way. And now you can turn the lock and it is open. Now, when we're going to do single pin picking, we are going to need to use a tension wrench. This is for bottom of the keyway. It's a popular choice when people are first learning. And a hook. How we open the locks is we take advantage of manufacturing tolerances that are not perfect. No lock can have absolute perfect tolerances, so some of these holes don't line up exactly perfectly. And when we apply rotational force to the core using our tension wrench, we are able to lift on each pin, feel the one that's binding, which is the one that feels like it has a little bit more resistance versus one that feels springy where it's just the force of the driver pin being pushed down by the spring. And once we're able to set each driver pin to shear, we'll be able to open the lock. And I'll do an example of that for you right now. Now we're going to put clockwise tension we're going to lift up key pin 1. You could hear a little click and it's set and now that that is at shear. 2. That's set. You hear the little click. Now that's at shear. 3 feels kind of springy but these locks aren't perfect and sometimes the locks are just already set when they come. Same on four, same on five, and then six is binding, and we are open. Another popular technique that is used is called zipping. And when you zip open a lock, essentially you're putting the light tension on the bottom and it's a kinetic attack. You're going to put the pick in the back and just pull it out quickly and you're going to try to shoot up each of the driver pins clearing the shear line and in that second while they're all set the plug will have space to turn over. This usually takes a couple tries. So you're just going to put the pick in the back of the lock You just pull it out quickly, and we're open. 
and try that one more time to pick in the back of the lock and we're open. Another popular technique is called rocking where you'll use your city rake or your L rake and you'll rock up and down until all the key pins are lifted up to shear, setting them randomly, and then it will open. You're going to put city rake in. It's going to go up and down so we're open. Now the next technique I have is raking. In this one you can use your Bogota style rake and you go back and forth but more of an up and out kind of motion. And this sets all the pins randomly until they're all set to shear. Until the lock opens. So I'm going to do light bottom of the keyway tension put the rake in and rake till it's open. These have been some basic techniques on how to open locks. I hope that the visual aid of being able to see the driver pins in action is helpful in your steps to learning how to pick locks. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. As always, thank you for checking it out and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.